another year where I dare you, Potts, to make predictions on who's <laughs> going to win these heats because one of the favorites to go all the way just got knocked out. Well, I'm not going to throw myself under the bus <laughs> just yet, Joe, but uh, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be one of the craziest rookie seasons we've ever seen. Uh, it's going to be a very, very tough rookie race. And uh, it's going to get the, the top guys are going to get shaken up, that's for sure. Well, Potts, this one already got started during the break. Local boy Jack Freestone picked off this gym. Yeah, look at this wave. This is a classic snapper rocks wave where it grows as it comes further down the line. You heard Strider talk about how clean it is. Sometimes it's really hard to surf the wave when it's so clean. Not for Jack Freestone, just absolutely tagging this wave all the way through the inside. A series of beautiful turns and milking it all the way through. No mistakes right there. Nice, clean, smooth surfing to open things. And uh, Sebastian Zietz, well, he's got some work to do now. Why? Because a massive score for uh, Jack Freestone. Pete said, hey, by the way, you're number two in the world. He said, radical. He just was taking it all in. He said he could have hung it up there. He's always just keeping it light, having fun, and his best surfing comes to the table. Freestone up. Fin drift off the lip. Beautiful open face hook from the local, from Tugan. And he'll hop out. Seabass out of look on the wave out the back. Really put some pressure on Seabass. I like the fact he's paddling back out. Catch something out on the way. As we see Sebastian Zietz is kind of caught behind the section a little bit right there. There's that trademark sort of stylish turn back into the power source and kicks out. So Seabass, well, still looking for a good one, but Jack Freestone found a nice little gem on the inside. Watch this wave as it hits the inside bowl, stands up for Jack, and there it goes. Bang! Throws the tail out. Beautiful turn. Straight off the bottom into another searing rail maneuver. And again, just uh, a nice put-together wave. Not a long one. It's not going to be a huge score, but it's going to give him a good two-wave total and a price and pressure on the young Hawaiian. Do anything to stop that. He's just going to do what he's going to do. I just got to make sure I'm on the better wave. Thoughts going forward into round number three. Uh, just stay loose and keep doing what I'm doing and uh, just enjoy it. Great job, nephew. Going to see you in round number three. You know, how sort of tight things are. I mean, it's uh, Felipe come around that, we would have seen a massive score and maybe a different result. Seabass up and riding, though. He needs to get busy at the moment, just a pair of twos. And that is not going to do him any good either. Always features some radical maneuvers. When you think of Jack Freestone, you, you can picture a lot of huge aerials. When you see Sea Basket Radical, a lot of times it goes from a huge power carve into a reverse, big tail releases. And now he's up just waiting to get a little grower on the inside. Forms out the down carve. Slices one off the lip. Sea Bass starting to heat up. Fin drift off the coping, and he's back through the lip again. He'll stay on his feet to get the completion, and now he'll be out of the combination. To Jack, Jack's got priority. Um, Seabass just rolled the dice on a nice little insider. A little bit of downtime to kick things off, which is fine here at Snapper Rocks. It's a long wave, so you've got to take your time, make sure you get yourself in the right place, make sure your feet are planted well and truly on the right spot on the board. And now it starts to open up. Beautiful searing maneuver right here the money shot bang throws a tail out really critical turn from Seabass and again another big wafting maneuver so two solid turns through that inside section so definitely Seabass's best wave and a smart move right there just to change it up get the rhythm put himself in a different part of the lineup so good thinking from Seabass I just love a wave here at snapper where it just doesn't look like much and just hang it in there you can get this beautiful section further down the line pots yeah beautiful low deep bottom turn you can see those fins popping out releases and now just jams it look at that tail out the back of the wave just sliding beautiful style right there just uh, you know puts a lot of pressure on that front foot keeps that nose out of the water There's a lot going on there great technique from Seabass I feel like Toledo's an amazing surfer I don't know, but you know, you get those feelings, and, and this was one of them. Unfortunately for him, he didn't come down to this inside corner. I'm watching these waves come through in here. I mean, there's eights and nines going down all over the place, and nobody's even riding these things. Just crystal balls, perfect waves. Look at these guys just ripping through the tops. Seabass looking like he's on point. Jack Freestone already proving he's on point. Coming off the older days where it almost felt a little bit easier with the usual suspects, 
Let's go back to Seabass. He's been really heating up punts. Yeah, well, you know, that wave just changed up his rhythm, Joe. He's uh, paddling back out. He's finding these little jams. And look at that. That's what we like to see from Sebastian Zietz. That was as good as it gets as a rail turn. Uh, he's dropped a good score and he's back in the heat. Jack Freestone right behind him. What's Jack got? Throws a tail out, spins it around and goes down. So maybe he doesn't need to do that right there. You know, just ride out of that first turn. It's a long wave here at Snapper Rocks. Build your momentum as you go down the line and unload through that inside section. Seabass loves to catch a lot of waves in his matchup. So he'll take another look and hack it off the top. Having a look now, Seabass still on the comeback trail. Just waiting for this thing to open up. Good reason why he's hanging in there. Stalls on the tail. Now it's starting to open up. Starts off with a searing cutback. Driving through another top turn wrap, hard off the bottom, and he jams it. This thing is going inside out on the inside corner and taking away the open face. Um, so it's easy for these guys to get back out in the lineup. And Seabass has found this little corner, um, and it's just doing him wonders right now. 6.73, we're still yet to see a couple more scores drop for Sebastian Zietz. Watch this, just waiting for it, waiting for it. Now he starts to unload. Beautiful turn right there, just gets more and more critical. And another one, three, uh, three turns in succession, three beautiful rail turns. That is going to be another big score. So Seabass out of that combo situation, Joe, two scores just about to be dropped. And this is what we like seeing from Sebastian Z. So starting to crank it up. One of the best styles on tour as he draws low off the bottom. And watch this turn right here, just stomps on the tail and drives off those fins, throwing a lot of spray. So critical stuff right in the power source of the wave. Sebastian Zietz is going to get the lead over these last two waves. And Jack Freestone, well, the momentum has switched. And Seabass now, look at that, Joe. Massive numbers coming in for Sebastian Zietz at 8.13, 6.73 before that. And he's taking the lead off the local boy, Jack Freestone. Do you think, you know, see, it looks like Seabass in this, in this uh, heat is catching a lot of waves. Do you think that's catching too many waves, or is it kind of something to keep the ball rolling? Seabass is at his best when he's just surfing, you know, thinking less and just surfing. And once he gets a little roll on, he starts feeling that rail. He, he builds in confidence, and as long as he sticks on his board, uh, you know, he's hard to beat anywhere in the world. So, and I think it's the same for Jack. Freestone's amazing when he, when he just surfs and gets going. It's, it's so much horses for courses. Each surf is so different. And, you can't embed the sit and wait. And then when he got in Seabass's corner, Seabass was kind of the opposite mold, and he encourages it as Seabass just blitzed <laughs> that big section as we were catching up with Wits. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Seabass has taken the lead, but uh, not only that, he's extended it way before big score. Now he's just starting to have some fun, and, you know, you heard Tommy Witz say that Sebastian Zietz is better when he just, uh, you know, just catches a lot of waves. He starts building that confidence, finding that rail. and Got a couple of solid eights in just a couple of minutes back to back. Now an important wave for Freestone. Big section to float. Looking for an 8.57. Throws it vertically. Snap to slide. Throws the tail out just to show his variety, but he ends up losing the reverse. But Seabass probably feeling a little bit better with priority. Let's see what happened here, Potts. Yeah, smaller wave. It's one of those growers. And, uh, you know, Jack really did get off to a good start on this wave. It's got a really weird little kink in it. So once that tide starts coming in, we're going to see the conditions change. These guys really do have to sort of adjust, you know. And Jack may be going for a little bit too much right there. The conditions we had through Thursday, and we'll see what happens early Friday morning. Having a look now, using priority is Seabass with 40 seconds to hold his lead. Clean top turn to get this one started into a climb. Now into some clear water. Set up turn for Seabass. Hits it off the lip, driving hard off the bottom. Frames it, punches oh. the fins out, but he goes down. Will Jack have an opportunity with 20 seconds to go to hold Freestone off that opportunity? As Jack's already looking up to the sky, realizing he's run out of time on his home court. The place where you want to go all the way to the podium in front of your friends and family. Freestone knocked out in round two by the solid comeback from Hawaii. Sebastian Zietz, an 8.27 and 8.13 from some of the biggest cars in the game. Yeah, uh, just, you know, I tell you what, that was a, a heat of two sort of uh, parts, really. Jack Freestone dominated the beginning. Sebastian Zies came back and uh, stole that momentum and just literally dominated the back part of that heat. So both guys, as you said, surfing incredibly well. 
Uh, just unfortunate for Jack. He just sat out the back a little too long, you know, a little bit out of position maybe, um, and waited too long for that last roll of the dice.